नमस्ते आई निशु पांडे वेलकम एवरी वन ऑन द ब्रांड न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ साइंस बिट्स ऑनली ऑन भारत आफल दिस सेशन इज ऑल अबाउट साइंस विच इज सिंप्लीफाइड इन शॉर्ट क्रिस्प एंड अ यूनिक मैनर बाय द एक्सपर्ट दिस प्लेटफॉर्म प्रोवाइड्स यू एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू एक्सप्लोर योर साइंटिफिक टेम्परामेंट्स एंड एबिलिटीज साइंस बिट्स इन्वॉल्व एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ द टॉपिक रेजिंग फ्रॉम द रिसेंट ट्रेंड्स एंड डेवलपमेंट इन द फील्ड ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी टू डिस्कशन ऑन द प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन एंड पोटेंशियल कॉन्सेप्ट विच आर इम्पॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम द परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम भारत आर फर्स्ट प्रोवाइडिंग यू एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू आस्क योर क्वेश्चन वाय द फॉर्म हुज लिंक हैज बिन प्रोवाइडेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स बिलो डू मेक यूज ऑफ दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी Now I would like to introduce our science expert Dr T V Venkateshwaran sir who is here with us to answer the question Dr T V Venkateshwaran sir is a senior most scientist at Vigyan Prashar New Delhi he is also the founder of India Science Wire so let's begin the session with today's question see pneumococcal uh, conjugated uh, vaccine is a news because uh, uh, one vaccine which has been uh, developed by uh, serum institute of india uh, has been approved for uh, public use in india in the recent past and so this is in the news so let's understand uh, uh, what actually happens pneumococcal uh, uh, disease happens because of a bacteria and bacteria have uh, uh, the cell wall in the cell wall you have the uh, something called as uh, corpuscular uh, poly uh, saturates what is called as uh, cps okay they are all basically long polymers of uh, repeating unit of uh, single sugars and they form a protective external layer for the bacteria so if somehow you can uh, destroy or you can uh, uh, immobilize that uh, the external layer then uh, bacterial diseases can be controlled to an extent that's a uh, background so both uh, gram negative and uh, gram positive both types of uh, uh, bacteria have this particular uh, feature okay so that's where uh, the uh, starting point so uh, uh, the bacteria can uh, synthesize many different uh, 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 cps okay so which mean that uh, uh, there will be uh, different uh, varieties in its uh, 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 cps chains on its uh, cell wall right Uh, uh because some portion of uh, this uh, cps can be variable some part is uh, conserved some part is variable so once we understand what we can do is that we can uh, create a vaccine for it basically uh, the uh, cps uh, uh, can uh, region which is unvariable can become a, a antigen and then for that antigen you can try to generate our body to develop antibodies okay so uh, in a ordinary vaccine you uh, give uh, 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 this uh, polysaccharide as a vaccine okay so that uh, uh, provokes our immune system to react and then produce antibody but what people have found is that in some of these kinds of cases the uh, uh, the vaccine is able to only stimulate b cells to produce antibody but when you have conjugate conjugate mean along with this uh, antigen you are also adding a carrier protein something uh, additional so both put together is able to uh, make a much more uh, better immune response they are able to stimulate both uh, t cells and uh, uh, b cells response that's what uh, they have found so that's what is called as conjugate vaccines okay in a non uh, conjugate vaccine it induces only b cell immunity so which mean that uh, uh, immune memory uh, is uh, weak but when you have uh, uh, a conjugate vaccine it is able to uh, uh, generate both the b cell and t cell immunity and because of that you also have immune memory now let me uh, take a minute to explain what is this uh, b cell and t cell for some of you who may not be very familiar with it uh, well see when you look at uh, a germ which is uh, uh, infecting us Uh, when it is inside our body it can be in two places one it can enter into our cells okay uh, and if it is a virus then it will also take the cellular machinery to make copies of itself if it is a bacteria when the bacteria uh, enters into our cell it will uh, take the energy and uh, material from our cell for its own uh, growth right so that's how 
uh, uh, both of them act like a parasite and then uh, uh, take away our uh, uh, body growth uh, for its own growth, right? So that's what happens. So one, the uh, germs can be inside the cell. The second, the germs can be outside the cell. So, you know, when you say about outside, it's intercellular spaces. In the intercellular spaces, I mean, there are uh, some kind of a liquid and then uh, the germs can uh, flow there. The B cells are one kind of uh, immune uh, cells which produce antibodies. These antibodies go and attach to germs, pathogens outside the cell. The, these antibodies cannot uh, uh, touch the infected cell. So infected cell is something like a, a leaking tap. So the water is uh, continuously flowing. And uh, the uh, germs outside the uh, cellular space is like uh, 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 water on the floor. It's important that you need to mop the floor, but then you have to also close the leak, right? So which means that you should also ensure that the infected cells are also destroyed, right? So that's what the T cells do. So the T cells attack infected cells. They will be able to identify and attack the infected cell. And once the T cells are generated, your proper T cells are generated for a particular pathogen, then the immune memory also builds up. Okay, because the T cell is what actually trains the B cell to produce the right kind of uh, uh, antibodies. So both the B cell response and T cell response are better than only B cell response, right? For a long-term immune memory and uh, uh, safeguard. So the conjugated vaccines uh, do that. That's how the conjugated vaccines uh, work. Okay, when you have only a, a polysaturated vaccine, it's able to uh, 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 stimulate the B cells to produce antibodies and the copies of the B cell. But when you have conjugated, then the conjugated protein is also able to stimulate the T cell. So you have both the B cells and uh, T cells. Okay, so that's what uh, uh, happens in a conjugated. And pneumonia is a leading cause of uh, vaccine preventable illness and death among children under five old in India. Okay, so that's why the pneumonial uh, uh, vaccine is uh, vaccine for the pneumonia is uh, uh, key and important. Uh, somewhere around two lakh children under five die of pneumonia in India each year. Okay, and uh, the uh, 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 conjugated vaccine is a relatively uh, new vaccine and uh, it was available only in the private market and now the government has uh, introduced this as part of the universal immunization program so the children will get it uh, free okay uh, roughly about two-thirds of uh, all uh, disease causing strain can be uh, uh, controlled by the uh, vaccine which have been developed uh, and currently being introduced into India so, which means that huge number of uh, child death, preventable child death can be uh, uh, arrested. And uh, this uh, vaccine is going to be introduced in a phased manner. First, uh, they started with Himachal, uh, Bihar and Uttar Pradesh, where uh, currently major deaths are also taking place. And then uh, slowly this coverage will be expanded to the entire country. This is the uh, background for pneumonial uh, uh, vaccine. 